Fremantle Fishing Boat Harbour was a key item of discussion at the council meeting where we reaffirmed our position that the Fremantle Fishing Boat Harbour should be retained as a working fishing boat harbour, one that keeps those marine industries that support the fishing fleet and, and other associated in industries, whilst acknowledging that actually what makes it a really interesting place is that how they sit alongside the tourism and hospitality industries as well. There will undoubtedly be uh, new developments coming in that area and we absolutely welcome those. Uh, we just want to make sure that as they come that they don't undermine what makes it special and authentic and unique and that's the working side of the port as well. Cats in natural areas was a, another key area of debate. Um, Councillor Aidan Lang put forward a notice of motion uh, through committee and that came to council as well and the council supported uh, that and I guess at the heart of that notice of motion is where we will restrict cats being able to roam in natural areas, bushland areas, for example, um, Bullionboro Park or Samson Park, where we where there are lots of birds and native flora and fauna, and actually it isn't appropriate for cats to go hunting in those. So. Um, the council has asked staff to draft up a local law and that local law will go out for public advertising, come back to the council, um, but we certainly we think there is merit in taking that forward and giving better protection to our, nat to our natural areas um, from cats that can be quite predatory. The planning application for Deus Ex Machina for Queen Victoria Street in North Fremantle was a really key area of debate. This is a proposal to uh, Trained uh, that used to a, a small bar amongst other amongst retail and other things. Um, I think everyone saw that it was a really great proposal. The real challenge, of course, is that it will probably be extremely popular, and the challenge of North Fremantle is parking and how we actually manage the growing popularity of that great little precinct um, and the growing pressures of, of parking in, in that area. So there was a, a really robust debate around that, and the council supported the application, um, but also acknowledge that we need to do some really good strategic work around making sure that we uh, provide extra parking in, in that area as well as better protection for surrounding residents um, whilst encouraging um, great new businesses like this into the area. The new City of Fremantle Community and Crime Prevention Plan was adopted by, by Council and this was after some extensive community consultation. This is an area that people really care about. We had 500 uh, people putting in submissions and being, being involved in the consultation process around that. And it was really to make sure that we were targeting um, our, our, what we're doing in this area right, around getting the right resources on the ground, um, but not just around community safety offices and ranges and those kinds of things, but also making sure we're designing our public spaces right around lighting and um, passive surveillance and all those kinds of things. It's a really comprehensive plan and one that will guide the council and the investments it makes over coming years to make Fremantle an even more safe and inviting place. Mm -hmm.